Hey creators, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the logo and business card section of the web graphics creator. So let's dive in and I'll show you how this uh, part of the software works. So first you're going to um, pick the logo creator option, of course. And when it loads up, you're gonna see a whole bunch of logos, okay? So you can pick any of the, I think there's 120, but we add stuff to it all the time. So um, for now, let's just jump up here. I'm going to select this one and I'm going to change it to, um, the Mark Sly Company. And we'll give it two lines. So it is, okay, the, I'll make that a little bit bigger, Mark Sly, and I'm gonna take the word the, and I'm going to duplicate it, and Mark Sly Company. It's my business. Okay, it's not really my business. And then once we have our logo, I'm going to uh, download it, okay, under the file menu. Let's do that again. File menu, we're going to download it. Okay, this is different than saving it. I'm going to download it. And I'm gonna make this a transparent graphic, which means there's gonna be no white background here, like, like you see. And we'll call this Mark Sly and download it. Easy as that, okay? If I wanted to save this, I, I can, and I'm gonna save this um, so I can use it later. I'll call this Mark Sly, and I'm going to put it into um, categories I've already created, or I can make my own category like Mark's logos, okay? And that's the category I'm gonna save it under. I'm gonna save it. Okay, uh, my graphic is done. Now we're gonna put it onto business cards and I'm gonna show you how to make uh, coffee cups with it, business cards, mouse pads, super easy, watch this. So now we're gonna come down here to select designs. And there you go, there is my saved logo up here in this menu under Mark's logos. That's the category I had named it. Um, and I also have other saved categories that I was working on. Okay, but up, if you scroll up even further, you're gonna see the template sets that we just used. And also here, you're gonna see business cards, okay? So in this particular section, there's logos and business cards, and then all of your saved graphics you've, you've created. So let's launch business cards. And in this section, you're gonna find a whole bunch of business cards you can use. And again, we change the business cards, we modify them. Um, so when you come into this, some of the old ones might be gone, some of the new ones might um, look better. So uh, it changes all the time. Okay, so I'm going to pick, uh, this is a good one. Um, and this is the placeholder logo that I'm going to delete. And I'm going to bring my own image in by going to the file menu and I'm going to import it. Uh, there's my logo, bring it in, all right. And we can do anything we want. We can rotate it like that if we want to, make it smaller. And of course, we're going to take this text and we're going to change it to my name. Okay, and I like the background, it's not bad. Um, here's my telephone number. Okay, I like the background, but I think I'm gonna, I live in Hawaii. I, I don't really live in Hawaii. That'd be kind of cool. I used to live in Hawaii. Um, I'm going to change this by hitting the photos and video image menu here. We're gonna go over here and we'll type in something like Hawaii. Hit return. And here's a whole bunch of really cool graphics. Okay, um, let's use this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on the background, I'm gonna drag it over, and I'm going to fill my card, and I'm going to also bring this image to the back. Okay, it didn't disappear. This background right here is in its way. So instead of deleting the background, what I'd like to do is click on it, and over here, uh, the menu has changed to image format. 
So I'm going to hit the opacity button and bring it down because I kind of like the texture of, of how, this, uh, how this comes out. Now I could remove the whole thing, but the Hawaii image is a little bit too, too bold. So I'm gonna bring my graphic back and it just makes it a little, little bit subtle. Okay, now the cool part of the business card section is when you return to the menu and you click on canvas, for, format the canvas, okay? Um, then you're gonna see these two little buttons. One is for YouTube graphics. This one, we're doing business cards, so we're gonna click on this button. And when you click on it, it, it gives you a, what they call a bleed image so that when you print it, your graphics and your text don't get cut off. So I'm gonna bring this over to the corner up here because that's an important number. And that's not my telephone number, don't call it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fake number. I mean, I don't know, it might be somebody's number. Hope it's not. Um, okay, uh, one more thing we have to do. Um, my, my text is now not centered correctly, so I'm going to click on my name. I'm gonna hold the Shift key down and click on each other, uh, each, <laughs> every other uh, text element. And then over here, the menu has now changed to left, right, and center. I'm going to center this, okay? And I'm going to bring it about to where I want and probably put my logo there. Okay, now with this bleed image, I think when I create my card, uh, the, the text and the letters won't be cut off. Here's what I mean, watch this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to download this image now, and we'll call this um, Mark's Card. Download it, and I'm also going to save it because I know I'm gonna use it again, but I might change my number if I move or um, my URL or something. So I'm going to save it, and I'm gonna call this Mark's Card, and I'm also going to save it by clicking this little arrow button um, into Mark's logos that I had created earlier. Okay, and I'm going to save it. Okay, once it's saved, now we're gonna come up here um, and I'm gonna type in a website that I use called Vistaprint. Now, Vistaprint, look at this, I created all of my business cards, um, just like I'm gonna show you, with the software and with Vistaprint. And it ran me, I don't know, like 15 bucks for 250 cards. And it came out really good. Okay, so come to Vistaprint and we're going to click on the business cards tab. Um, and there's a whole bunch of different um, formats. Um, they have premium cards that are like 30 bucks, uh, but you can just start out using the regular business cards if you click on it. Um, the paper thickness, you have to, they make you do all this. So. Premium, like I said, is about 30 bucks. Standard will run you about 15, 10, 15 bucks um, for 250 cards. So I'm gonna click standard. Paper stock is gonna be not glossy, I like matte, and uh, rounded corners or standard corners. Let's do standard. Well, there you go, 500 for 20 bucks. Uh, we can go down to 250 for 18 bucks. That's really good. And they ship, it'll be at your door in like three days, two days maybe. Um, Things are faster than when I got these business cards created. Okay, so we're going to start designing by clicking this button. And I know I saved my graphic on my computer, which is Mark's card. I'm going to open it. And you'll notice that when it launches, that the card is all within the border boundary that Vistaprint wants you to um, create it in. And their message says the image resolution looks great. So the Web Graphics Creator software has created the perfect size and with the bleed. Um, and now you can go ahead and choose print, um, spend your 18 bucks and within, like I said, two or three days, the cards will get there. Uh, this is for the backside. I'm not gonna make a backside, but you absolutely can, of course. 
So I'm gonna hit next, now watch this. Now they're gonna tell you, uh, show you the preview. So let's see, preview larger, that's a new button. All right, so that's kind of what your card's gonna look like. Pretty cool. And again, they come out like that. This is a uh, matte, um, yeah, matte finish, uh, $18 cards. Use them all the time. Okay, also when you order, um, I have reviewed, I'm gonna hit next. Then they're gonna upsell you to hats and mouse pads and watch this. Okay, so you can have a vertical business card made. Now, if you do a vertical business card, obviously I'll, I'll show you in, a next, in another video how to do that, but you kind of get the idea. Um, business cards, um, here's postcards you can make. You can make labels um, with your uh, business card or a design that you make. Now the t-shirt, we can remove the background and just have your name and your logo there. That's kind of cool. This is what I like. This is what I'm going to order soon is this mouse pad. I like that a lot. Um, they will give you a pen. And again, really inexpensive. Um, $3, $10 for a mouse pad. And, and that's a quality mouse pad. Stick it on your desk. It's really neat. Um, they give you stickers to put on bags, <laughs> I guess. Uh, brochures. Here's a hat. Um, and, of course, the coffee mug. Um, which is really cool. Now again, take away the background and just have your name or a funny slogan or a character. Uh, Vistaprint, quality stuff, I'm telling you. And I'm not an affiliate of it, but I've used it for like, I don't know, 10 years. Okay, so that's how to use the logo creator and the business card creator. Let's go back to it. The logo creator and the business card creator. Um, let's go back to designs. Oh, and here's my card, and here's my logo, saved under Mark's logos. But again, use this menu, scroll to the top, you have your logos and your business cards inside of the logo creator and business card template set. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you got a lot out of this. Um, take a look at the other videos that I'm doing for the other template sets, and uh, see you on the next video.